Here we have some problems about probability, and that means the chances of something happening. This first one says a bag contains eight red, three white, and six blue marbles. And what is the probability that a marble drawn from the bag will be red? So when we figure out probabilities, we usually start with a fraction. And the fraction has on the bottom the, the total number of chances, anything that could happen in this situation. And then on the top, it's the number of chances of, you know, the particular thing that's being asked about. Okay, that's a little wordy, but the idea here is that the total number of chances here, if you're picking a marble from the bag, however many marbles there are, that's the total number of chances. So we want to add up the number of marbles. We get 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 6 is 17. So the bottom of this fraction is going to be 17. And then it says, what is the probability that a marble drawn from the bag will be red? Well, the number of chances of the particular thing happening that it's red, well, there are 8 red marbles. So there are 8 chances out of 17 that the marble you pick will be red. When you get to this point, you want to make sure you um, reduce this fraction if you can. Looks like there's no common um, factors here. 17 is a prime number. So it looks like we can just leave it like it is. If you want to convert that to a percent probability, just convert this to a decimal by doing the division on your calculator and then move the decimal place over to uh, and you'll have a percent. Let's look at another one. This one says, if the chance of rain is 14%, what is the chance that it will not rain? And on this one, you kind of just have to use common sense. You should realize that it's either raining or it's not. So one of those two things is going to be happening. So the, the percent chance that it's either raining or it's not raining is really 100%. So if the chance of rain is 14%, the chance that it's not raining is 100% minus 14%, or in this case, 86%. And let's look at one more. And this one really is more about um, a wording or terminology question. Sometimes when you see probabilities, you'll see um, something called odds, and then they'll be phrased in this 3 to 8, or 4 to 5, or 1 to 1. And this is a little bit different. Um, it, it, it's not, you can't look at this the same way you look at fractions or percents or decimals and probabilities. What this means let me read the whole question. The odds that an event will occur are 3 to 8. Find the probability of the event occurring. So 3 to 8, what, what this means is that there are three chances for the event occurring and eight chances that the event doesn't occur. So the total number of chances here is actually 3 plus 8, or 11. And now the, the, the probability that it's going to occur is 3 out of a total of 11 chances. It's another way to say the same thing, the odds are 3 to 8, or the probability is 3 out of 11. So those are some problems about probability.